Welcome to part 5 and now we'll create some player movement and it'll just be single player to start with. Alright, so I'll make a uh, new C sharp script and I'm going to call it player controller and it's a, a single player script to begin with. Okay, so all the script is going to do is to capture the player's input, their WASD keys basically, and then apply that uh, to the transform, to the player's transform. So float x is equal to input dot get axis. The name of the axis is horizontal, so the spelling must match what you have in the input manager. Times time dot delta time times 150 degrees. So float z is equal to input dot get axis vertical. times time dot delta time times three units transform dot rotate zero for the x axis then for the y I will supply the that value x and then zero for the z axis so this will cause uh, the player to rotate uh, about their y axis and sorry that's not rotation it's supposed to be rotate so it'll cause the player to rotate about their uh, y-axis, so they'll turn left or right. Okay, the next transform dot translate and zero in the x direction, zero in the y direction, and z in the z direction. All right. So back to Unity, and I will attach that so to the player. I'll add the player controller. That's it. Okay. So I'll just quickly run that, and you can see that you can move about. Alright, so in the next video, we'll see what this looks like when we have two copies of the game running.